Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a basic calculator with the knowledge we've learned over this tutorial. So, um, open up your application here, and all I've done is declared a couple variables, and writ ask for user input, and then read the user input as a double. Okay, so um, we're going to go over the variables here. The first two variables will be the numbers entered to either uh, do multiplication, uh, subtraction, addition, or division with. And the total will be the total of these two numbers done with whatever they are done with. And this OPER here, which stands for operator, I just shortened it up because we don't have to write it every time, um, will be if plus, minus, divide, or times. So we'll know what to do to this number here and get the total. So um, first thing we need to do now, now that we're already asking for the first number, we need to ask for the operator so we'll know what to either plus, minus, times, or divide the second number. So go ahead and go console dot right line and go enter operator. Oops. There we go. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing as num1. We're going to offer, which stands for operator, equal console dot read line double parentheses semicolon. You gotta remember we have to use the convert and we're gonna have to use convert to char because we can't convert the string char. So we go convert dot to char and parentheses around console.readline. Okay, so now basically we just asked for them to enter the first number and then assign the value as num1 and then the char or operator which we'll be using to either plus, minus, or divide the number two. Okay, so now we can go ahead and ask for number two. Okay, so now we asked for the second number. Let's read it as our num two. Now this is a double, so we're going to have to convert it to a double and not a char. Make sure you always convert it, and if it's a string, always convert it to the type it is, especially you mean air. Okay, now we have to do the if loop to test if, if the operator is equal to plus, minus, divide, or times, so we can know what to do with these two numbers. So uh, go ahead and space this out a little bit, and go if, double parentheses, and then we can just go ahead and do the braces there, and then we'll go offer is equal equal to and then our character okay so what that's doing as we know is testing if offer or operator is equal to this value if it has this value then we're going to go uh, total equals num1 plus num2 okay and then we'll go console dot right line Your answer is then we can go out here plus and go total and then leave it like that. So what it's saying is your answer is total and your total will be num1 plus num2. So then again we can do the same thing. We can write an if else loop if offer equal, equal to minus then we can go like so, total equal num1 minus num2, and then console dot right line, your answer is plus total, again, so what that's doing is asking if operator is equal to the minus sign if it is minus one num one minus num two is equal to our total and then print your answer is the total okay so i'm just going to go ahead and do this for the rest of the um operators 
Okay, so um, I'm testing. I've already tested here for the plus, the minus, the times, and the divide operators. So, and then divided times or plus according. So um, that's pretty much it for the if loop. But I'm gonna add one more else statement because if none of the if the operator doesn't equal any of these values, we're gonna get an error. So what we're just gonna do here is add the else. So if none of these are true, else just do this. So our new console dot right line and we're gonna go invalid operator just like that okay so that's just telling them if your operator doesn't equal a plus minus times or divide uh, character then it's invalid okay now all that's left is to debug the application so go ahead and write console dot read key and debug our application and as you can see we enter our number our operator and our second number and it gives us our answer but then uh, right here if you hit the, any other key after this it just closes our program so um, what we can do is we can add a while loop which will ask if the user wants to go again so go ahead and declare a new char again equal to y or which will equal yes really okay so then while again equal equals to y or yes then do what's inside of these braces here and here okay so as soon as uh, we give them their answer which we do in each of these if loops here we need to ask if they want to go again so right outside the if loop we go console dot right line right line do you want to make another calculation? Pardon my bad spelling right there, but uh, of course you can fix that. Slash. And we tell them the answer with a Y or a no. Okay, so this would be stand for yes and this would stand for no. And then we need to read again as this console input here. So we can go again equals console dot read line instead of read key and we got to convert it to char so convert that to char parentheses around console.read line okay so what that's doing is while again is equal to yes or y then run what's inside here and then once we give them their answer ask them if they want to make another calculation and if they enter y then again it's still going to equal y so it's just going to keep going if they enter anything else besides y, it's not going to equal y, and the while loop is going to be stopped, and it's going to, the program is going to close. So you go ahead and press debug again, and we can find out if this works. 7 times 9, the answer is 63. Do you want to make another calculation? You hit yes. They ask you if you want to make, ask you for the first number, you fill out it again, and it tells you your answer, and it asks if you want to go again. You press no, and it closes the program. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Um, hope you learned something and you better understand how to use all the stuff we've learned in this tutorial. Um, you can go ahead and further upgrade this calculator so that it can have more features and is easier to use. Um, but for this tutorial, that's it. So um, tune in for the next tutorial.